you're new to my channel, I'm just a girl who likes reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Wednesday! I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video is going to be a Christmas romance recommendation video since I figured it's almost Christmas. If you want more recommendations, Ava from Ava's Romance Books and Christy from Christy Reads A Lot also did this video. I'll link their channels down below in the description. A holly jolly ever after, Winnie and Callum. Winnie used to be a celebrity for the hope based channels like and Callum used to be a part of a boy band turned pizza owner guy. He is part of the boy band we see in book one and Winnie both get cast in this movie, this spicy movie. And Callum and Winnie were in the same circles growing up because they were both celebrities. And Callum always had a crush on Winnie, but Winnie didn't know. And Winnie just got divorced from her husband and she wanted a change. So she took this opportunity to be the lead star in this spicy Hallmark movie. But when they're doing the scenes together, Winnie realizes she has no idea what she's doing. So she asks Callum for teach me lessons to teach her how to be comfortable in front of the camera. How to be okay with her body because the director said her facial expressions are very stiff like her like she doesn't know what to do with her body and with her facial expression so she asked Callum to teach her how to do stuff. Snowed in Maggie who is a runaway bride she runs away from her wedding she's about to get married at the beginning of the book but she runs away she decides she doesn't want to get married to her husband we jump Five years later, M Maggie is now working in Dublin marketing company. Her mom calls her and tells her she has to come home. She hasn't been back home in five years. Coincidentally, at the pub, she meets Christian, who happens to live in the same town, in the same town as her. And they they run in the same circles. They used to go to high school together. But he also has to come home for Christmas. Maggie and, and Christian get talking. And they come up with this idea of fake dating. You give a grump a holiday wish list. Follow Jack and Paisley. Paisley has never been home for the holidays since she started working for her boss, Jack. And this year, Christmas year, she tells him that, you know, I'm going home for the holidays. And, and he's like, what are you talking about? We have a business meeting. And he forgot that she was going home. And so he was like, why don't I come with you to your hometown so we can still have the business meeting with clients? She's like, what are you talking about? My family doesn't like you because I keep telling them how horrible of a boss you are. So when they go to her hometown, he's like, why don't I just agree to be your fake boyfriend? Instead, so they don't know I'm your boss. A festive feud. 
by Mary and Moore. And we have two rival families, Emma and Jackson. Their, their families don't like each other. And Emma and Jackson were at a store and they were fighting over this ornament and they broke it. So the town, the mayor of this town and the people in town is like, we're tired of this feud and we're tired of going to two separate parties. So they were like, this year you guys have to work together and throw one big party together to throw this holiday party. Set the record straight by Hannah Bottom Young. It's a sapphic romance, friends to lovers we follow. One of the heroines, they're at a Christmas party and her boss thinks that she has a girlfriend and the other heroine of our story, I think her name is Evangeline. Her, she needs a date for her ex-girlfriend's wedding, so they decide to fake date each other. Their feelings start to turn real. Big Nick Energy, and we have Shay, who's a single mom who just got divorced, and she goes on a date with Connor and it doesn't work out with them. But Connor and Shay develop a friendship. So Connor invites Shay to his house for Thanksgiving with his dad. Nick, Connor's dad, sees, sees Shay and immediately is attracted to Shay, but he, he thinks his son is interested in her, so he backs off. He, they go about this Thanksgiving dinner and Nick makes the mistake of telling Evelyn's daughters about Elf on the Shelf. And they get all excited. Shay was doing her best to keep that tradition away from the girls. And Nick didn't know that, so he feels bad. So he asked Shay if he can come to her house and he'll do the elf on the shelf every day till Christmas. And she doesn't have to do anything, just allows him to do, to do that for her. And Nick are forced to spend time together because of the elf on the shelf thing. And they develop feelings for each other, but Shay tries to deny her feelings for Nick because she, she kept saying that she doesn't want a relationship. But Nick is just patiently waiting for her and being there for, Shay, for Shay's girls. He shows up for them. December midnight. And we, it's a novella, we follow Aurora and Gray. Aurora went to this fortune teller and she said the next man she meets is going to be the one for her and she'll meet him by Christmas. But the only man she meets during that Christmas weekend is Gray, this businessman who's taking over her, she works in an inn, and her boss sells a portion of that inn to Gray. And so she tries her best to resist Gray, and she's waiting for the guy that she's supposedly going to end up with, according to that fortune teller, but she's really attracted to Gray. So she. It's their romance, Aurora and Grey, and it was really cute. Your Heart Be Light, and I read this because of Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages. We follow two, sing two single dads, who, uh, for, 
And backstory is this happy-go-lucky guy always smiling on the bakery and he has a daughter and his daughter assigns him up for this town program where they set two people up for the holidays and they are supposed to spend Christmas together. He gets paired up with Baxter. Baxter is a handy guy, construction worker. Paxton and Paxton's son Nathan has a crush on Baxter's daughter and Paxton doesn't like Baxter because Baxter is always smiling at people. He thinks it's a facade that Baxter is Mr. Popular like he's always smiling and he's not really genuine but his son is like no, Dad, I think he's like that because he's lonely. So, pa Paxton gets to see Baxter without the facade of always smiling. And he makes it his mission to, like, help him out because he feels bad for being mean to Baxter at the beginning and because his son asked him to be nice to him uh, it was really sweet i really liked it I, a little magic and it's a second chance romance brother's best friend secret relationship and the heroine has lupus and not and starting at eight years old and the hero and the heroine, the, the, the heroine, Ellie, and Theo, her brother, best friend, has always liked each other, even in, into childhood and adulthood, but they have to keep their relationship a secret because she's dealing with her illness, lupus, and her brother wouldn't like her, him dating her, Ellie, can't stand being caught up by her family anymore so she leaves she she leaves her small town and never looks back because she wants independence and it's six years she's back in her small town and she's back with Theo and I thought it was cute but it was I really loved the past chapters, but I thought the reason for their breakup was really predictable. Those are all the holiday romances I read. Please let me know if you read any of these books. I would love to know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. And I'll see you Friday. Bye.